Welcome to GradeLink Administrator Training. We've designed GradeLink to improve parent communication, increase teacher efficiency, and streamline administrative tasks. This video will show you the key steps needed to set up and maintain your GradeLink account. The key steps to setting up are create staff accounts, create terms, create classes, create or import student accounts, and populate classes. The key actions for maintaining your GradeLink account are copying classes to future terms, adjusting student account status, and promoting students at the end of the year. We'll also cover key reports and other features in GradeLink. Ready? Let's begin. GradeLink currently offers three types of user accounts, administrative, teacher, and parent. Everyone uses a secure login and password to sign in to their GradeLink account. Start at www.gradelink.com and click the green Login button. Then, enter your school ID and initial username and password. The GradeLink service team will provide these to you. When you first sign in, click the Change Password tab to change your password to something unique, memorable only to you. Now, let's click on the Staff tab and begin entering additional staff members. GradeLink staff types are divided into Teacher, Admin Limited, and Admin. Teacher accounts get grade sheets for tracking grades, can run class-specific reports, and can take or update attendance. Admin Limited accounts are a limited access administrative account, good for entering new students, updating addresses, and recording attendance from the office. Admin accounts are full administrative accounts, allowing access to all features, including staff, settings, and viewing of the teacher grade sheets. We recommend all schools have multiple admin accounts, including any full-time office managers, secretaries, or IT administrators who would be considered a manager for your GradeLink account. So enter any additional admin or admin limited level accounts. The phone field is optional and will be shown only to other staff members. It's intended for a personal number, such as home or cell phone. The email field is also optional. It will be visible to other staff, and teacher email addresses can optionally be made visible to parents. The username has no special requirements other than being unique for each account. The password has certain requirements for security. There must be at least six characters, and it must contain three of these four character types, capital letter, lowercase letter, number, and symbol. Click Add. Now continue adding in any additional administrative staff and any teacher accounts. For the teacher's passwords, you may enter a randomly generated password or one of your choosing. However, teachers should change this password the first time they log in. 